Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So, I've been cleaning out my uncle's house. Um, we've got to get it all taken out. Um, we started decorating it all to get it rented out to pay for his care. And I come across quite a few other little bits. Um, <clears throat> so here is a remote control for the Meridian... I can't remember the model number, the 308 or something I think it was. It was a two box machine. The Meridian, the Meridian has gone. So I think I, I managed to get rid of it once at the council chip because it was just, uh, it was dead and there wasn't a lot to, it wasn't working, it weren't worth fixing and he didn't really want to fix it at that point. He was already starting to go uh, downhill a bit, so I got rid of it for him. So this is the remote for it, um, so that'll be interesting. <clears throat> One of the things I did find was the original manual here to the uh, the COS ESP.9 electrostatic headphones. It's totally original, this is. Look at that. This is from the early 70s. Yeah, very nice. So, uh, going to be having a good read through that before I start doing a, a video on restoring those. So, I also found some uh, silver solder, 4% silver solder from Maplin's. And an IEC to a figure of eight adapter. There you go. Okay, another thing I found was Clarity Mains. Russ Andrews with Coherence Technology. Okay, another thing that I picked up there was this other DVD player. It's quite old, it was probably around about 2004, it works perfectly. But what does it play? SACD. Which is great because I'm going to set that up in the uh, studio and put that on. And then what I'm going to do is because I've got my other player in here, which was the Pioneer DVLX50, the the best upscaling player that ever went through what Hi-Fi testing rooms. This was around about 480 new. This one would have probably been uh, probably a couple of hundred maybe or maybe 150. And both of those play SACD. And then obviously up there we've got my uh, high-end SACD player now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a shootout with the uh, with the three of them and see uh, how much better each model is. So that's going to be rather interesting. <coughs> um, we've also picked up this ultrasonic cleaner for cleaning CDs. So this came from Russ Andrews as well. So I'm going to show you how to clean some CDs on here or some Blu-ray discs, DVDs, or SACDs. So that should be interesting. I also found, when I was rooting through the cupboards, clearing stuff out, another set of uh, genuine WBT plugs. Uh, totally new. <clears throat> Never been used before. So that's another another little find. <clears throat> no one else in the family is interested in audio, apart from me and Uncle Stan. So I've managed to uh, get loads of stuff. Um, also found uh, two lots of uh, monster cables. I mean, a bit of a joke, monster cables, but these are HDMI cables, so they should be fine. Two of them, and uh, a Russ Andrews, another Russ Andrews cable here, a V75, which is just a, a television coaxial cable. So that's that. So also found another Russ Andrews. Uh, the super purifier so the mains hub that i've got there the russ andrews uh, mains hub has already got this built in i think i think that's why he didn't use it he stored it away in a cupboard um when was this bought 2007 can't really see it on there that well there you go 12th for the 11th 07 so I may use this out in the studio. I'm going to set another system up out there. So another another interesting thing. A uh, pair of uh, RCA plugs, uh, cables there, interconnects, analog interconnects. Um, just uh, basic cheap ones, I think. Um, so that's that. What I did mainly find was uh, Uncle Stan was really into his uh, languages. He spoke different languages. He got so much languages here loads of cds on languages 
I've got another turntable as well I picked up from there, which I had to put in the loft, so I haven't shown you that. Uh, but there's loads of languages and different things and that. Uh, Welsh. He, he spoke quite a few different languages, which was very interesting. He used to come round and sort of say a few things when he used to come round in different languages. It's always funny. Loads of uh, cassettes with languages. Although he never, he, he would never listen to music on cassette because it wasn't good enough. Um, they're just all music cassettes. And I did, I did pick up a load of SA nineties, all sealed from around there as well that I've put in the cupboard already. Um, so, but as I say, he wouldn't have used these for music. He, he never had a cassette deck. He'd have used these for just a little tape recorder he's got there, which I wasn't bothered with. Um, More language books. He was a bit of a whiskey fan, so I got this whiskey book. Nothing to do with audio, but if you're into whiskey, every single whiskey, different malts in there and everything. So Latin, so, so much stuff. But uh, I'll head outside now to show you something in the studio. So I took these two teak cabinets here. My brother-in-law made them. He's a cabinet maker. And Stanley used to have them as his uh, rack at one time. So I'm going to do a job and repolish all these and make them a bit more like a dark mahogany colour. So I'm going to use these in, in the, in the uh, AV room. But I'm going to replace the shelves for a special shelf, isolation shelves. And so there's two of those. And in between them, I'm going to build a rack. So I'm going to have one of these either side and I'm going to have a rack in the middle. Which is going to be made out of this birch ply there, 24 mil. But now this is very interesting. This is another one that my brother-in-law made for Stanley. Another nice unit in there. I'm going to repolish this and give it to the wife. <laughs> She's going to use it, but I've got to do a bit of modification to it. Now you may say, what the hell are those holes in the front? Well, let's take a look and I'll show you. So here we have the underneath. So if you remember before, these acoustamas, those acoustamas there, that I did a video on. This is the subwoofer that went with those. See, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a job on those um, acoustamas. I'm going to make some uh, little cube speakers based around exactly the same sizes. And then I'm going to rebuild this sub with proper inputs. So I'm going to use it in the studio out here. Yes, Bose is not really audio file, but I'm going to audio file them up to make them sound really good. Decent wire in there, uh, decent crossovers, the works. So I've got to do some work on this to uh, get it up to that stage. You can see he's had some spikes in the corners of these at one time. It's only made of MDF. They're uh, teak veneered MDF which I'm going to totally refurbish so uh, that's interesting I think he put it in there he tried to hide it because it, it looked a bit ugly otherwise and um, he's basically got my brother-in-law to mount it in there and you see there's a couple of screws there just holding it in place so I should just remove those and then pull it out and then uh, there'll be a subwoofer there so I think that's about it so um I've had to do some decorating around his house to get it all sorted out so we can rent it out to pay towards his care. So uh, I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, give this video a like and touch that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And thanks for watching.